Hey guys, welcome back to Hood's Custom Shop. So today I'm gonna start off with uh, planing this stack of pine wood right here. Uh, these are basically, I think they're one by eights is probably what they are. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna be running these through the, uh, the planer right here to get them a consistent thickness all the way down and basically get rid of the uh, mildew and stuff like that that's accumulated on them uh, over the last year or so that they've been drying. But anyway, so I got to do that and I'm going to be using this in the bus for some of the flooring and some wall stuff. Uh, you guys will see that probably in a future video uh, or maybe even in this video. I don't know. Uh, it's going to take me some time. I got to do all this right here. It's going to take up the biggest part of the day just to do this process right here with this stack of lumber. <sighs> it's going to be a lot of work. So let's get after it. See you guys at the end. Oh, yeah. And go check out Oklahoma Drilling Life, the mullet man. Guys, he's uh, he's needing about 38 hours uh, watch hours on his channel to uh, finally uh, get monetized on his channel. So if you guys would go help him out a little bit, go at least watch an hour. That'll help out and uh, help get him monetized. I think it'll be a, a huge morale booster for him. So guys, I appreciate it if you can do that. We'll see you here in just a minute. Let's get after. It. Boards are long and awkward. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have a nice, beautiful board right here. This is blue pine. It's got a little blue staining in it, uh, and that is caused from the bark beetle or pine beetle, whatever you want to call it, that gets into these trees and uh, eats into them and ends up killing them. And that beetle getting into the tree introduces a certain kind of fungus or whatever into the wood that actually produces that coloring. So right here's what we this looks like after we've milled it and dried it uh, I didn't have fans in there all the time blowing on it so basically it did this right here we got a little bit of mildew on there we'll run it through the planer it smooths things out and brings the the wood grain back to life and makes it look like that right there so yeah let's get about it so yeah let's get back after it here we go oh. so what you got to do is um, run all of these through and uh, cycle them through it's a lot of work and then we'll have to bring it down another notch and uh, run them through again so each one of these is going to have to run through here at least twice at the very minimum most likely about four times uh, on each board so that's why this is going to take a good amount of time today <laughs> so let's uh, move this off to the side grab the next one get her done all right guys so we got that process done the next process is actually to take these over put them on the sawmill and run them on each side and get these nice and straight because some of them kind of uh, they look like a rainbow they're not perfectly straight anymore so we're gonna put them on the sawmill uh, straighten them out a little bit but I've got to actually go uh, get the sawmill lined out it's not perfectly straight right now it's been sitting there for a while we've had a lot of rain and stuff and so things kind of settle in the yard a little bit over time and, and putting really heavy logs on there so periodically you got to go in and kind of do some adjustments and get your bed level or straight not level but straight again um, so that's what i'm going to have to do is go get that uh, straight basically pull a string line down it and adjust it till i have it perfectly straight 
and then we can get these stacked up over there do a couple of cuts i'm probably going to spare you guys all that uh but i got to get these cut uh lined out and everything to where i'm working with some fairly straight lumber it is going to still be a little bit rustic because it's still going to be rough sawn on these edges right here uh, but i'll do the best job i can and uh, we'll bring you back and show you the uh the bathroom the daggum wasp and the the carpenter bees have just been swarming me today so we'll see you here shortly well guys i don't know this the sun's going down pretty quick already today um and this right here is just i've been thinking about this all day long and i, and I got the uh the washing machine brought in uh from the house uh that act that's the washing machine that actually used to be in my semi truck uh it took the place of my passenger seat in my 98 peterbilt 379 uh it had a coffin top 36 inch flat top sleeper on it and that's what i lived in for years so you can imagine like just like this right here is a lot of space for me it's huge uh, compared to my semi truck that i lived in so yeah I, i'm just this feels like a mansion to me. Um, we will be framing out that right there. So that will be, you know, sitting level and everything and it will get uh, screwed down to the floor. So it's not going anywhere or anything. And then the boards that you guys seen me run through the planer just a second ago, which was actually this morning. <laughs> uh, they're right here. I got those all done. We ran them through the sawmill and got those uh, straightened up and everything because some of them kind of had a little hook to them. Uh, so those are all straightened up. They're all five and a half inches wide. They're actually like five and nine sixteenths. <laughs> They're a little over uh, the five and a half, but it's not a big deal. We'll we'll be able to work with that. All right. So I think I'm going to be using those for the decking boards for this and this area instead of using that plywood. I've got two sheets of some high dollar plywood. <laughs> Uh, and I'm just, I'm not wanting to use that for anything. If I have wood like this, I'm going to use this stuff and not the plywood. I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up using the plywood for the, uh, the pullout couch slash bed, uh, for the front up there. I think I'm going to use the plywood for that. So yeah, I've been just, I've been procrastinating a bunch on using that plywood. It's just, it's such a pain to get a big sheet of plywood out and cut it and it just as expensive as it is for one sheet of plywood it just makes you think twice about cutting it you know uh because if you messed up that's a lot of money down the drain so i'm going to be using this right here this kind of gives that rustic feel that goes along with the theme and everything we already got going on here and we don't have to cover it cover up the plywood with some other boards or something so we'll just use this right here uh to kind of you know cover in the walls and everything um, we are going to double, you know, do the double on the walls. Um, I might actually end up putting some insulation in them. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. It might be at a later date because I just don't have the money for insulation right now. And I'm going to use screws to put the, the siding on the walls. And that way it can actually be taken off and we can put insulation there, you know, just to quieten things down that, you know, the noises that might come from the bathroom especially whenever you got company over, right? Uh, you know, I think company can appreciate that a little bit as, as well as I will. Um, so this right here, I've been contemplating how I'm going to do this, uh, whether I'm going to put the composting toilet over there or, I'm, or if I'm going to put just a wall here and a bench seat right over there and put the composting toilet over here. Honestly, I think in order to keep this area feeling big and open and everything, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to put it over there. But let me know if that's a horrible idea. Uh, the thing is, like right here, if I put a, a little bench seat here, you're going to have a wall right here. Okay. And that wall is going to roughly take up like four or four and a half inches, right? So between the table and the wall, is not very much space we're talking maybe 16 inches and you know for someone like me that's a little cramped okay so i don't think that'd be too comfortable i really don't feel like it'd be used with it just being me in the bus or even if i was to sell the bus i think that 
you know, if I was to sell this bus to a couple, I think they could appreciate the fact that, you know, the toilet would kind of be around the corner right here, insulate the walls, you know, that kind of thing. I think anybody could appreciate that. And, you know, a couple of people, all right, can sit at this table. You know, I'm sure you could easily fit three people just right along the front right here to sit down and eat, uh, you know. And if I was to sell it to a couple or something, or if I was to meet somebody and they was to travel with me, you know, to sit down at that table and have breakfast for two people is not an issue. It's just a non-issue, right? Uh, but I think if I was to put that composting toilet right here, number one, it's going to present some issues with the plumbing and everything for the, uh, the urine diverter and all that kind of stuff. It just, I don't know. It's going to... I feel like if I put it right here, it's really going to kind of close this space in because you're going to have a wall right here, the toilet's right there, and we could actually put something like a vanity right here. I just don't really feel like putting a sink in and doing all that kind of plumbing and everything because I really don't feel like I need to put a sink in here. All right, we got the bathtub. We can use that. Also got the kitchen sink. I mean, if I need to wash my face, I'm just going to take a bath, right? Um, or a shower or whatever. Uh, eventually we will have a shower curtain ring up here with a, a shower curtain that goes all the way around that thing. Um, but I'm, I just, I'm really thinking, I, I really think I need to put it over there because right over here underneath the bus is where I could actually put the tank. I can't put a tank right here underneath the wheel well. So I'd have to plumb stuff either over there or back here. I just, I don't know. Analysis paralysis, guys. That's what it is. That's what it is. Analysis paralysis. I'm going to sit here and analyze this all day. I, I'm already losing daylight. I just, I'm just not going to get anything done today on this because I'm running 100% off grid right now. Nothing in this bus is being run off of the household power. I still got some drop cords right here. I could, you know, I could plug into that. And run some lights but I, I just I really don't want to you know if I have solar uh, right now that light that I got going right now that's lighting it up in here is running off my solar so I think I kind of like to keep it that way so I can kind of get a, a real feel for how much power I can use each day off of the solar and we haven't had a really great you know solar day today I mean my batteries are topped off uh, as far as what the, the system says, it's at a hundred percent. So, um, hopefully it stays like that, but I don't know, guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments. And I think I'm going to wait and I'm going to hold off on this until tomorrow. And it'll probably be noon tomorrow. So I'm going to try to get this video edited and out there to you guys. Uh, I'll probably drop this video first thing in the morning. So you guys can watch this Saturday morning or whatever. And uh, as soon as you see this video, make sure you drop a comment as to what you think I should do, where I should put that thing. I just, I sit there and I tried to, I tried to position myself right here. And, you know, if I was to put my back completely against where that wall would be, I'm like this with the table, you know, that's that doesn't feel very comfortable. I wouldn't be able to kind of turn. I'd be hitting the wall there. You couldn't lean back at, at all. So I just, I really feel like it'd be unusable space. So if I was to build a wall right here, put the composting toilet right there, and this is all going to be raised up. Basically I open the door, walk in, step up, right? Step up right there. I can, I got enough room here to turn around, sit down on the toilet, and then I'm going to open this window back up. I'm going to take this insulation, cut that out uh, right here. Let's take that out and we'll have another window open. The wall will be right there on that pillar. Okay. So you can actually get some good airflow coming through here and you can open these windows. You have airflow and everything. The thing is, like, I even thought about building a little stem wall kind of thing, you know, about this high, right here, about the same height as the window. So right here, 
would be a wall. And you'd feel like that'd give you a little bit, you know, a little bit of uh, privacy, I guess. I mean, you're gonna have to close this door if you got company, right? Uh, it is what it is. But if you had a wall right here, you gotta walk all the way around and like that. And I don't really like that. All right. So the way I'm thinking is composting toilet there, this hole right here where the blue tape is, that's all gonna be raised up to the level of that fender well right there, all right? So that, that'll just be a raised up. And so you're gonna step up onto this, which, you know, would make me almost smack my head. And I, you know, originally I was thinking just put it right here, little bitty cubby, and I thought, heck no, heck no. I'd be all claustrophobic in the summertime, and that little bitty space right there with a wall right here, uh-uh, not gonna happen. But with a little short wall right here, you got your barn door, you know, a little pocket door right here. So when you come in, you, I mean, if, if you felt comfortable around somebody and they're over here visiting, you could literally not even close that door. You could just walk in here and do your business and whatnot. whatnot. And you're, you're around the corner, you got some privacy or whatnot, but you'd have to be really comfortable around them. Cause I, I just, I ain't even that comfortable around my wife really. I mean, I don't have any problem sitting on the toilet around her or even my kids there. You don't get no privacy when you're a parent. Y'all know that. Uh, but I kind of like my privacy, you know, I like the idea that I can close the door I can come around the corner and everything. And yeah, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments section, guys, what do you think? We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.